here it is. We finally have it. The Jotform AI video about the Microsoft Teams integration. That's right, so this product has been a big requested integration for a while, and we're gonna show you how you can literally take an AI prompt and bring your process of anything you want regarding messages sent to your Microsoft Teams through your forms right now. So first and foremost, we're gonna show you how to build a form using Jotform AI, and then how that can actually take that information and send a message to you on your Teams account. So create a new lead form submission for a content marketing agency that focuses on social media and video content. So all this is gonna do is it's gonna create an option for someone to submit a lead form. And then I want to utilize this process so that it notifies our team when someone's interested in working with us. So this is a common thing that people do. They'll have lead forms on their website and you can embed this using Jotform. And I just simply wanna show you how easy it is to make. So we got name, email address, company name, company website. What services are you interested in? What is your primary goal for content marketing? What platforms do you use? Yeah, these are all great. Best time to contact you, but estimated budget. Yeah, these are, these are perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna go into my settings and show you how you can grab this and just make it super easy for this workflow to go. And I'm gonna make required that estimated budget for a very specific reason. I really like having my messages kind of excite my team members and we're gonna utilize that later. Okay, so let's go to integrations and we're gonna add Microsoft Teams. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna send a message to a standard channel. Okay, press next, authenticate. All right, now what we're gonna do is we can select a team um, that's inside of our account. So it is optional. So say you don't have like multiple teams set up, you can pick whichever you want. So we have the team here. Uh, we can we can make any more that we want. We can do like a sales team, for example. So we can do public and call it sales. Nice. And then inside of the sales, team and what we can do inside of here is you see the general chat we can actually add a channel and call it like new leads right and that is an option if you want to do new leads or you can do like sales pipeline say if you want to have like a list of the pipeline and what's going on so going back into job forms options for this let's select the sales team and we're going to select the new leads channel and the customized message is going to say hey team a new and then yeah the form title a new form title was just submitted by, and then we can do the company name. They are interested in, what services are they interested in? And they have a budget to spend of, I don't put like a hyphen, it always makes it easier to look at. And then we got estimated budget for services. Please follow up with, and then the name of the person that submitted it at their email. And then we can add their email address ASAP. Okay, add form to fields message. So we could also do this as well. We could show the full name, the full email address, company name, services, and estimated budget too. And then action buttons for view submission is a great option too. All right, so then let's go through this and open it up in a new tab and test it out. So I'm going through and filling out the forms. Say they're interested in social media and video content, and they wanna generate leads, and they have a $5,000 budget for services submit and see the magic happen. So inside of our Teams account, you'll see, hey team, a new lead form submission was just submitted. They're interested in social media, video creation, and have a budget of 5,000 to spend. Ooh, please follow up with Dimitri at this email ASAP. Then you can see it also breaks it down in this format. I just wanted to show you how you can do pretty much anything in the order of operations of like, do you want to put the fields in the text here? Do you want to show it like this? And then here you can click on it and actually see the submission too, which is awesome. Now, not only that, but you also have the ability to, if you want, if you added a option for like a time to book a call, you could actually go back to integrations and click on that and add a new action and have it be create a meeting in Teams based on their email address. And that would be, say for example, we wanted to add a scheduler for an appointment, discovery, call date right we can do that here too make it required go back into settings integrations 
and go through that process of then adding the discovery call date and a 30 minute call, because that's how long the discovery call was. And then if you add, add their name, their email, what they're interested in and their budget to the call, you can do that and press save. Now let's do another submission real quick to test that out. All right, so let's say they selected it on Monday at 4 p.m. Let's press that real quick. Let's press submit. Boom, we'd get both things coming through. So this and we went to the calendar and checked Monday. Bingo, look at that 4 p.m. meeting we got on Microsoft Teams. And another pro tip, you can always have the submission be turned into a PDF that attaches to the Microsoft Teams meeting, which would be cool. Um, but here, if you open it up, it showcases all their information that I added to this as well. And you can press online meeting, send update. And then from there, what we have is we have a meeting with somebody scheduled for 4 p.m. next Monday. So we got a new sales opportunity in. They filled out the lead form. They booked the call. The team knows and everything's all fine and dandy. Because Microsoft Teams is so valuable to you, we wanted to make sure this integration was in here in our product suite. So thank you so much for sticking with us as we added this to our list of integrations. It's a great integration, so try it out today and try out JAFORM using the AI form builder. Thank you so much for watching this video. Appreciate your time. Hit that like button, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.